Well, welcome back to Scouting for History, and welcome to a brand new permission. Now, when I go into these new permissions, I try not to get too excited. I don't want to go in like Augustus Gloop walking into the chocolate factory. <laughs> don't lose your heads. Don't get overexcited. Just keep... But this permission, I lined it up a couple of days ago. It's hard not to get excited about it. Now, the house is only from the 1930s, but right next door, this is a permission I had not long ago. And this yard was awesome. Over a two-day period, I found a large scent, flat buttons, buckles, all kinds of cool stuff. And the best silver hunt I've ever had. 16 silvers came out of that yard. Silver rings, silver earring, uh, silver pendant, uh, a handful of silver coins. My very first ever Ben Franklin half silver dollar. So it's hard not to get excited about this place here. So hey, let's go before the heat sets in. Let's get started. First signal of the day, probably a penny. Well, what an ugly plug. Well, that took a long time. But it is. It's just a memorial. On to the next. Well, I'm not sure what it is. I'm back here in the shadows, and I don't have my glasses. It's aluminum, but it's got some writing on it. I'm sure you can see it. I can't see it without my glasses. Well, now under this old tree root here, that looks like a dandy button. There might be a design on there too. Outstanding. So this whole area was a farm from the 1700s all the way up to the early 1900s. So that's not too surprising. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh, there is a beautiful design on there. Outstanding. On to the next. Well, a nice high tone here. Might be just a clad quarter. And it is a clad quarter. Yikes. On to something better. And just like every other suburban yard, a shell casing from a rifle. Mm, probably mid-1900s. Somebody was hunting deer back here. On to the next. Well, finally, at least a wheat penny. The 
oldest coin I've found so far. Sad. On to the next. Well, that was a screaming signal in the hole. And again, I don't have my glasses, so you might be able to tell what it is. I can't, but it was a pin and a pendant, a medal of some kind. Outstanding. So sometimes these obnoxious, horrible signals, you got to dig them to find out what they are. Or leave them for me, one or the other. On to the next. Now when I found this metal and I cleaned it up, I could tell it was a Knights Templar medal. Now I know a little bit about the Knights Templar. I mean, they were created almost a thousand years ago as a branch of the Catholic Church that was there to protect pilgrims going to and from the Holy Land. Now they did that for over 200 years until they were, well, let's just say they were disbanded permanently by the Pope. So how did a Knights Templar medal from 1919 end up in this yard. Well, I didn't know. Knights Templar was a cool name. The Masons in the late 1700s took the name Knights Templar and made a branch of the Masonic movement. Um, and it has no connection at all to the original uh, Knights Templar. It's uh, completely separate. In fact, the original Knights Templar is Catholic and the modern Knights Templar is Protestant. So. Somewhere back in the early 1900s, somebody decided to wear their Knights Templar medal in the backyard. He chose poorly. Well, he chose poorly, but hey, lucky for me, he did. He lost it. I found it. On to the next. And way down here in the bushes, this was the burn pit. So you'd bring your trash down here, you get a good fire going, you throw your trash in. No more trash. That was the way they did it until there was a regular trash pickup. On to the next. And of course, and of course it wouldn't be detecting without a buckle. On to the next. Well, I knew that one sounded odd. It's a Canadian penny, eh? All the way from Canada. <laughs> On to the next. Said, like, take off, you hosers. We don't have any of that. <laughs> well, I had my hopes up, but it's just a doorknob. Big brass doorknob. Gave a great signal. On to the next. Well, I wasn't expecting this. It was a penny signal. And I believe I see some kind of a bust right there. Frank Driven, police squad, this is my captain, Ed Hawkins. Is this some kind of bust? Well, it's very impressive, yes. That looks like it might be King George. Oh, there's Britannia on the back. I think, or my eyes are playing tricks on me. I'll clean up when I get home. You'll see it right here. Awesome. Outstanding. On to the next. Well, I'm not sure. It looks like it might be a really old dog tag. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see. Oh. The iron pin rusted and corroded the uh, brass tag, but I see 1942, it looks like, at the bottom there. I'll clean up better. You'll see it right here. That's cool. On to the next. And as always, before you kneel down, you need to look close for poison ivy. There it is, it blends in with all the other vegetation, but there's no other poison ivy around, just that one. You gotta keep an eye out. Well, it took a couple hours, but uh, finally, here's a silver Washington. Just in time for the 4th of July, it's in uh, two days. So happy 4th, everybody, and here's George. <laughs> and a wheat penny, too. On to the next. 
sure that Wheat Penny and Washington were right there. And then right over here. Could be a silver dime. And look, oh, I popped it and the camera was bent or looking the wrong way. And it's a, it's a Merc. Awesome. That was a nice little spill. Had to work for it, but that's okay. It's worth working for. On to the next. Well, I don't know what this is, but it's a little tiny bit of something. It rang up real high, like silver. No, now it's ringing low. There must be something else in the hole. Hmm. Well, let's see. Stand by. Well, I found the other piece of it and figured out what the mystery item was. It was a wing nut. That's all it was. Trash. On to the next. And... Finding jewelry is always fun. This one is just aluminum, but hey, peace. <laughs> On to the next. Real good high tone here, very deep. Turned out to be just a hunk of lead pipe. Ugh. On to the next. Well, it's got writing on it. It's a tiny little coin or token. I don't have my glasses again, so I'll wait till I get home. It's one something though. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. I love far finding the foreign coins. And that's cool. On to the next. Well, that's going to do it for this adventure. Not too bad, but if I had gone into it expecting to find a pile of silver coins or rings or whatever, I'd be disappointed. But you get what you get. So you go into every permission not expecting to find anything much. So when you do find stuff, it's fine. So, hey, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe. Come along on the next one. We'll see you then.